Hello, everybody. Why is the camera always look so weird when I go live? It, it's tiny, and then when I go live, it's big. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm running just a minute late today. I apologize. Um, I have so much to tell you guys, so much to show you, and I didn't have it all ready. So let me get this up so I could see your comments, and I'm just gonna start right away. Um, where do I start? Where should I start? Um, you know what? I wanted to tell you about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, and it's over here. Why is it over here? We have a brand new All-Star Tutorial Bundle this month featuring the Abstract Beauty. Um, this is a PDF that I help put together every month. It's 12 different designers, 12 different tutorials, all featuring one product, and this month it's Abstract Beauty. My project this month is this cute little box, crisscross box. Um, most of the projects are cards, um, but I always try to do a 3D project for my 3D fans out there. Um, this is free with a $50 purchase between March 1st and 31st. You can also buy it in my PDF store for $15. Um, if you're a subscriber, I sent it out on the 1st. Check your spam folder if you didn't get it. If not, email me and I will send it to you again. I haven't sent them out for purchases yet this month. Um, I will do that this afternoon, all right? All right, so that is that. We did a blog hop yesterday, and I almost wanna say my blog hop project is cuter than my PDF project. <laughs> I like it even more. So you gotta make sure you gotta hop back one day and check out yesterday's post. It's good to see you guys jumping on. Hello, hello, hello. All right, next, um, Club Create. So Club Create deadline is Monday the 7th. Um, this month is the Your Biggest Fan suite of products. You will get $20 in product. You will get consumable product. You will get five make and takes, a video, a PDF, and shipping all for $39. Um, here's the stamp set that you're gonna get. Oh, I can't remember, I better not tell you because then I'll be wrong. You're gonna get paper embellishments and twine in your kit this month, okay? Um, I have actually already started prepping these. This is a huge amount of work this month. I don't know why. I'm going to be gone next week. So next week's usually when I would start prepping. So I started prepping them and I'm glad I did because this is a lot. Um, but the deadline is Monday. You have to subscribe by Monday. Um, that's a hard deadline <laughs> on Monday. Okay. Then beginning on Tuesday, the 8th starts the next Club Create subscription window. Um, when you subscribe to Club Create, it's $39 a month. And if you stay for six months, you get a $25 product credit on your sixth month. And if once you're subscribed, you're subscribed and you don't have to sign back up each time. But you can um, cancel any time that you want. Um, you can stay for two months, you could stay for 24 months, whatever. There's no penalty. You can sign up for the kits that you want. Um, but to get that $25 product credit, it's a six month continuous commitment if you decide to do that. Um, okay, so that is you have until Monday, okay, to sign up for that. If you were already subscribed, you don't need to do anything. You're good. Now, I've been teasing this one. Next month's Club Create Kit features the Cactus Cuties. I saved them for spring. I love them. Um, they have a coordinating punch and they are bright and adorable. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Now, don't if you're a, if you're not a Club Create member, don't sign up for this until Tuesday, okay? Tuesday is the first day to sign up for this Club Create. Now again, if you're already in Club Create, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to join Club Create for this kit, wait till March 8th. So the subscription period for this is between March 8th and April 7th. These will ship um, the 21st of April. So we have a long time. Okay. Here's the, there's a fifth project in there too. It's a journal. So cute. You guys like the colors bright and cheery and so fun. All right. Um, that is Club Creek. Now I am telling you about it today because next week I'm going to be gone. There'll be no Facebook Friday, so I won't be able to tell you about it. And I wanted you guys to know what's coming. Um, I'm trying to think. It's $39. I told you guys, um, if you're already in Club Create, you're fine. Don't do anything. It'll automatically charge you every month on the same day that you sign up until you cancel. All right. 
Okay, paper pumpkin. I have a lot of paper pumpkins this month. <laughs> if you would like one of this month's paper pumpkin kits, let me know. It's really cute. Nine cards. Um, I saw a really cute alternate project that somebody did. Um, it was a little like a wiper card, I think, and they had taken one of the little animals and made it move. It was really cute. You'll have extras um, to do other things, a little bit extra, not a lot. Um, it comes with a stamp set and a spot, Rich Razzleberry this month, um, and it has the envelopes, all right? So if you would like to get a kit from me, let me know and I will send it to you. Um, I have a handful of these available. I also have <laughs> um, January's kit, the love kit, whatever it was, I've got those too. If you want one of those, let me know. All right, that is that. Um, next month's paper pumpkin is on the horizon. It coordinates with the on the horizon bundle in the catalog. So if you like that, make sure that you've subscribed. Um, the deadline, I always forget this now. I get it confused. Somebody tell me, what is it, the 11th or the 10th to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin? I can't remember. But next month, I believe, is their anniversary month and you get a extra stamp set. I should know this. You know, I have so much stuff to remember <laughs> that it's hard for me to remember everything. Um, I will put a link here for Paper Pumpkin so you can go and read the details so I don't tell you the wrong information. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around because the next things um, I really wanna show you. I didn't even tell you what we're doing today. Friends of the Forest, so cute. You guys like the stamp set? This stamp set coordinates with the Deer Builder Punch. This was in the holiday catalog um, in the fall. It had a stamp set that went with it. Um, it's not in the catalog. This is in the catalog, but this is online. So if you didn't get it, you can still get it. If you have it, then you need this stamp set because it's another cute little deer. Um, and we're going to use it today for some cute spring projects. I think you guys are going to like them. All right, I'm going to flip you over. And I just have so much to show you guys. My oldest daughter is on her way home from school. She has spring break. And she's going to come bursting in the door probably before we're done. She's so excited to come home. <laughs> I felt bad. I didn't want to tell her to wait till Facebook Friday was over. So if the dogs go crazy towards the end, you'll know why. I'll excuse her. We haven't seen her in about a month. Okay, let me tell you about my class to go this month. Um, it features the Seize the Day bundle. This one right here from the spring catalog. Um, the projects, there are six cards. They feature this new pattern paper right here that is stunning. Hopefully you guys saw the video I posted yesterday. Um, of They have a video uh, showing how the artist made the designs and it's so fascinating. So make sure you scroll down a little bit on Facebook, you'll find it. Um, so the class will include some of this paper. It'll include a pack of the new rhinestones that coordinate. Hopefully a half a pack of um, sea glass, they're on back order unorderable right now, so that's questionable. We might have to sub something else. Um, and some linen thread. There are four options for this class. You can get it with the bundle. You can get it without the bundle. When you get it with the bundle, you're getting the rhinestones for free. Um, price this time includes shipping. I'm still kind of playing around with my shipping. Um, I told you guys I was switching from priority to first class, but let me tell you, <laughs> that complicates things greatly. Um, when I do priority, everything's flat rate, so everything's exactly the same price. Um, this last time when I did first class, <laughs> you know, people add on things, I send other things with things. It was just like, it took me three times as long to pack and ship. So I'm still playing around with shipping. I want to try to save you guys money. But right now, this is, what's included in this is first class shipping. Um, so don't worry about shipping. If I change, I'll let you guys know, but this one will be first class shipping again. Um, <laughs> you live and learn, you know, you live and learn, but this class has six cards and they're so beautiful. I just love that paper. So pretty. Okay. Deadline for that is March 25th. We have a long time to go um, to sign up for that. Now with that, let me show you this paper. Okay. So I've been teasing this whole suite that was coming out for a while and look all my pieces this I've used it and used it and used it and used it so my what's left of mine is a mess 
It's called Waves of, Waves of the Ocean. And you know what? I printed out the flyer. That's why I was late. Waves of the Ocean. Um, the whole suite, including this stamp set. It's different than what's in my class. Okay, this is an online only stamp set right now. It'll be in the next annual catalog. This um, and the rhinestones and some gorgeous foil paper, which I have right here. Well, I have some of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all can see how I store my paper. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, but anyway, it has this foil paper that you can get also that's beautiful. Um, all of this is available now for you guys through Mar uh, May 2nd. The bundle will be in the new annual catalog, but the other stuff will not. You can buy the bundle by itself. You can buy the paper by itself. You can buy the foil, the rhinestones, or you can buy it all together in the one little collection. So you only have to enter one item number. Um, so that is that. Um, I, I signed up for a swap. You know, if I had been thinking clearly, this is what we would have done today for Facebook Friday, but obviously I wasn't thinking clearly. Um, and so I have Facebook Fridays through the month planned, but I hate to not show you guys. I did a swap with some other leaders and got some gorgeous cards. I'm going to be posting these on Facebook for you guys to see as I go through them. Um, the wave die is really, really cool. The paper is really, really cool. Um, it's just, there's so many variations. And it has these, these really cool little label dies. Um, I don't think my sample is in here, but I'll post it probably next week. Um, okay, so I will just go through all of these and show you these. Um, over the month so that you can get some ideas for using the wave waves of the ocean if you want it. All right, so that's available now. Let me move all that over here. My table is super crowded today. Okay, now for the really fun thing that I'm excited to tell you about. Savings in Bloom is a promotion Stampin' Up! is doing this month and the little baby is on sale. Never been on sale before. Um, it's on sale for $48. This is the mini cut and emboss machine. We're going to use it today. I love it because it's so lightweight and I think it takes less strength to roll through. So if you have trouble with a big one, because sometimes I have to set my arm on the big one to crank it through, um, this might be a better option for you. It's also really portable. You can take it places. Kids love it. It's, you know, again, with that strength, it doesn't require as much strength. So kids can use it a lot easier. So Stampin' Up's put it on sale, um, $48. It's normally 60, 60, yeah. And then they put all these bundles on sale. That Now, let me pull my catalog out. When you guys look at the catalog and you see dies, if it has this little icon right here, it means all of those dies will fit in the mini. Now, like this die set doesn't have it because that one's too big, but the rest of them would fit through the mini. I find almost all dies do fit in here. Obviously, the really big ones don't, um, but they do a really good job in the catalog letting you know which ones will fit. So they went through and pulled out some bundles to show you um, specifically some that will fit if you want to get the mini and then get bundles to go with it. These aren't the only bundles that fit, but these are the ones that are on sale. The other thing I wanted to point out, when something is bundled in the catalog like this, um, Stampin' Up! takes the cost of the stamp set and the dies, adds it together and subtracts 10%. So when you buy a bundle, you're saving 10%. Um, so then this month, these guys are an additional 20% off. I thought that was a really good deal. So it's like 30% off buying them separate. Now, something will come out in a bundle in like the spring catalog, and then when it carries over into the next catalog, it's not in a bundle. You can't get it to save 10%. But they've brought some back together, and I don't know which ones. Oh yeah, it, I do. It has on here. Three of them like the sunflower. I'm gonna show you all of them real quick in a minute. Isn't in a bundle right now in the current catalog. But they, for this sale, only for March, they've brought it back together and it's bundle priced with a 20% off. Now, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news. I'm surely you know what's going on. This would be a great stamp set to buy right now because 
Um, the sunflower is the national flower of Ukraine. There's a lot of really beautiful things being made um, right now um, in honor of Ukraine. So if you'd like to see those, go to Instagram, and I'm sure you will see them. But it just, I don't know, it stands out to me. I think I'm going to leave it on my counter and use it as inspiration. But anyway, that's um, what's going on with this sale. I will link this PDF for you so that you can see them exactly. But let's run through them, and I'll show you which ones are 20% off. Hydrangea Haven. Wildcats, which... Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do we like it? Do we not? You know, I think maybe why I might not like it is the colors of the designer series paper on the catalog page are not my colors. But I think I like this. And you know what I realized? Someone suggested to me that this would be a great stamp set for schools, like a, a school mascot. And my kids, their high school are the Panthers. So I'm like, oh, I need to use this. I think we're going to need to use this for a Facebook Friday. I think we are. Um, Quiet Meadow, All Squared Away, which is another new one that I have used only once. Seascape, which would go beautiful with that Oceans paper. Welcoming Window, which is an oldie, but a goodie. This is a really good stamp set. Oh, great, Amazon is here. Please don't ring the doorbell. Um, What's Cooking? Oh, we all love this. If you don't have this yet, why not? It's so cute. Sweet as a peach. Love it. Again, another one. Gosh, my dyes are a mess. <laughs> I just literally pulled these out two minutes before I went live. I didn't make them presentable. Um, Garden Wishes. I honestly, look, I haven't even used this stamp set, this bundle. I need to use it. Beauty of Friendship. I've used the heck out of this one. I've used this one a ton. Pansy Patch, which we have coordinating paper that goes with that. Art Gallery. That's another one they brought back, right? Yep. That's not in a bundle in the catalog, but you can get it um, as a bundle price this month to go into your mini. We did Club Create with this last year. And then the, the um, Celebrate Sunflowers. Okay, so that's all the, the whole month of March. You can take advantage. No, I'm going to leave that out because we're going to use it. You can take advantage of that special. And I encourage you to look at it. I think that's some really good savings. Stampin' Up! has not done a sale like this before. Sometimes I feel like our sales aren't enough of a sale for me because <laughs> I'm a bargain shopper. But I feel like 20% on top of 10% is really good. Here's another thing that you need to consider. If you haven't bought the starter kit, in the starter kit, you know, it's $99. And you pick out $125 in product. Well, when you go to pick it out, if something's on sale, it's going to be on sale when you put it in your starter kit. So you can get a little bit more right? For your $99. Just a thought. Just a little thought. Okay, so that is that. I feel like I had something else. Oh, I know this right here. And I'm going to wait till the end of the video. Next week, I will be gone. There'll be no Facebook Friday next week. I'm going to be in Stamp, in Stampin' Up. <laughs> I'm going to be in Salt Lake City with Stampin' Up with my husband on my million dollar sales retreat. You know, it's been... 14 months since I hit my million, January of 21. So it's been a, a long time coming, but you know, because of, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff going on, but um, they're getting together. Everybody who has hit their million or their, their two million, there's a few two millioners, um, and they are spoiling us for five days. So we got this a couple of weeks ago and I will, I'm going to wait till the end of the video because um, I want to make sure we have time for everything. If you want to see what was inside... Stick around, and I'll show you at the end. Hopefully, I don't forget. Because <laughs> you guys know me. Okay, last week's winner, Janelle Gresman. Look, this is what she won for sharing the video. Janelle, I have your address. This is a big prize. Congratulations. She's getting the Here Together bundle, the paper, and two sets of those natural tone blends. Thank you, Janelle, for sharing my video. I've got two for the record. I love this stamp set. Denise, I see Denise is here. She's my assistant, and she made some birthday cards for my um, team last month. Oh, look, I have it sitting right here. Look how cute. So now every time I see the stamp set, because I haven't even used mine yet, I think of Denise and how cute her card was. So anyway, I will give these away in two weeks. If you'd like to win, just share the video on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know you've shared, and I will pick somebody, two, two somebodies 
at random to win. All right, we are at the bottom of the pile, which means we are ready to stamp. Um, if you've not joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. Um, I pick one product, usually, um, and we make three projects with it. I have additional projects too next week. I've got a bunch of stuff. I, there's not enough days next week for me to show you all the things that I have that I want to show you on my blog. Um, but next week I'll have even more projects to show you. This, this stamp set's so cute. Um, this PDF right here is on my blog. Has anybody checked? Did I put, did I hit submit? <gasps> is the blog post up? Somebody tell me. I feel like I didn't publish it. I don't think I did. Um, somebody tell me. <laughs> you guys, let me just tell you that it has been the week from HE Double Hockey Sticks here. My husband has been out of town, which, um, you know, when your husband goes out of town, that's when things go wrong. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. It has been just a you-know-what of a week, and I am running like a chicken with my head cough. It's just crazy. I can't remember things. I'm a mess. The house is a mess. I won't bore you with the details, but it's just been a week. Um, somebody tell me, is the blog post up? Anyway, if the blog post is up, this is free. It's under the last photo. It has all the measurements and supplies that you'll need for today's projects. It has the host code. If you would like this week's, it's not on there. Okay, I didn't think so. Let me, let me do that while I'm talking to you guys. If you would like this week's, um, let's see. Can Erica do two things at once? I don't think I can, <laughs> especially after I just told you about the week that I had. Um, if you would like these projects for free, I will send them to anybody who puts in a minimum order of $35 by Monday at midnight. Now, here's the deal with this week. Like I mentioned, I am going, hold on, <laughs> okay, publish, publish. And it should be up. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, okay, yes, I know. I'm leaving town on Tuesday. And that's usually when I cut and pack the make and takes, right? So Monday, I'm going to try to get ahead of the game and cut and pack and do all that on Monday um, so that I can get most of them in the mail to you. If you... Um, put your order in before late night Monday, you will get them normal time, maybe even earlier. Um, but if you wait till, you know, late Monday, you might not get them until the following week, but just know that they might be late. Okay. Okay. This is what they look like when they come. Um, this is last week's. I do most of the die cutting for you. Um, you will need the stamps and the punch. You will need the embossing folder. I don't emboss. Um, you will need Stampin' Blends. There was, oh, we're going to use a mask. You'll need those. Adhesive ink. No pre-stamped images. I don't send stamped images, okay? Now, of course, you can use whatever you have if you want to sub. Um, but anyway, I send you a little thank you tag. And you can't see my, my ladybug tag is so cute. See, there it is. Um, but this is kind of what they look like over the time. All right. So our deadline of Monday at midnight. And next week while I'm gone, I'm going to have a fun ordering um, incentive. I have no idea what I'm doing yet, <laughs> what I'm going to offer, but it's going to be fun. And you just wait and see, okay? <laughs> I have actually been thinking, because I just offered the free blends last week. So now, what, what can I offer my lovely customers who order while I'm on my million-dollar sales retreat? Um... We will see. <laughs> I will think of something. Um, Carla, Tuesday, possibly the PDF will be ready. Um, you know, with me traveling. I think so. I'm going to try to get all that planned out um, this weekend, but I cannot guarantee it, okay? Um, Becky, you and I should go have margaritas tonight. She's had a rough week, too. Yeah, you know, when it rains, it pours. Um, Maria, I did not get an email from you. I checked email several times today. I don't have an email from you. Um, okay, send it again. You guys, make sure that when you email me, you're sending it to the erica at pinkbuckaroo.com. 
I have another email address that occasionally I will send things from um, if my email keeps bouncing. And that's my spam account and I don't check it. So if you randomly start replying to that Gmail or SBG global account, I don't see it. It's always got to be Erica at pinkbuckaroo.com. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're going to be late today. We're going to start out with this super cute card. Now I originally, you'll see on today's blog post that, that I used the tasteful textiles um, embossing folder. But then I realized let's use one that fits in the little cut and emboss machine. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's do our stamping first. Let's get all of this. We're going to need, hold on, I got to switch my brain around. Okay, these are photopolymer stamps. Let's talk about that for a second. When you have a large photopolymer stamp like this one, Sometimes, depending on the surface that you're stamping, you'll get like a bubble in the center. Like it doesn't, look at that. Well, that's really weird. Let's see how this stamps. It's like it puddled there. Um, hmm, that's weird. Let's try that again. You will get a bubble in the middle where it won't stamp because something about, I don't know, it never happens to me over on my counter where I normally stamp, but it does happen on this table. So if that happens, get a mat. This is just a foam mat. And it helps your photopolymers make a much better, you know, image. So if you have that problem, use a mat. All right, so we're gonna stamp the tree in Memento. We'll stamp the cute little deer. I think it's a her in Memento. And let's color them. Now this tree, takes a few minutes to color. Um, so I'm gonna do it as quickly as I can. I'm gonna color the trunk in soft suede. Uh, these are Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol markers. If you're not familiar with them, they are fabulous. They make anybody who colors with them look like an artist. They blend, they don't leave uh, streaky marker lines, you know, like a Crayola marker or or our stamp and write markers. If you were to try to color with those like this, they're gonna leave streaky, you know, streaky marker lines. These also help you blend, add shading to your projects. Now I know not everybody wants to do shading and that's totally fine, I totally get it. But um, just the fact that it's not gonna leave those streaky marker lines is worth it. If you haven't tried them, I encourage you to try them. Now, I did the trunk in soft suede, and I'm gonna do the leaves in mint macaron. I should count how many leaves there are, because there's quite a few on here. Oh, I missed a branch, too. Um, I always tell you guys I prefer the bullet end, bullet tip end of my Stampin' Blends most of the time. Now, if I'm trying to color something large, then I will use that brush in. But most of the time I use the brush in to flick ink on projects, which we are gonna do later today. Um, the bullet tip is great for getting into little nooks and crannies. And I should have gotten my glasses. <laughs> I'm Everything's blurring together. And what else was I gonna tell you? Like these little tiny leaves, I'm not sure you could do these with a brush end. All right, oh, my, I should have done this ahead of time, man. So much work for these tiny leaves, worth it. Um, I have done clean recordings of all three projects. So if you come back and you wanna watch just one part of a project or one project in particular, you can find them on YouTube. They will also be linked under all the photos today on today's blog post. Now I'm just, just gonna randomly hit up a couple of leaves again to make a few of them darker. Okay, just a few. All right, so there, we've got that. Now let's come over to our deer and we're gonna use light um, crumb cake. You know, I said I only use my brush tip for big areas. I, sometimes I like to use it to, to blend also. 
I, I don't know, just the, the, mm, the shape of it is maybe a little, I don't know, it's softer. And it maybe it blends a little bit better sometimes. I, I've asked you guys several times which you prefer. And it always is surprising to me how many of you prefer that brush end. All right, now take the dark and we're gonna put a shadow line right there and under her chin. And I'm just gonna kind of draw a little diagonal line like that because her head would be creating a shadow. And I'm gonna put a shadow kind of there and then down here. Anything that's overlapping is gonna have a shadow. Oh, I just totally got out of lines. Now we have a color lifter that will help you if you get out of line. <laughs> Color lifter is great too for creating white spaces on your images. Okay, so I took the light, went back, smoothed it all together. I know you guys probably can't see it very well, but if you wanna see a closer look at it, you can go to that clean recording where I can, where I've edited, edited, I hate that word, where I've edited the video and it zoomed in so you can see it. All right, now we're using some other dies today too. Um, I have cut out a stitched rectangle from Pale Papaya. We're gonna cut that tree out with a large circle. We're going to use this die from, this is the, the hybrid dies. <sighs> I've told you guys that name annoys me. It's in the catalog, it says bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder. Well, that doesn't tell you it has dies too. So I call them the dies, hybrid dies. Um, and then these two from, what's this called? I forget. I have it on my list, don't I? Did I not list it? Well, pooey. Oh, I have it right here written down. Forever flourishing? No. Greenery. Forever, forever flourishing dies, the greenery embossing folder. I told you guys I'm a hot mess. We're gonna cut those out too with our little baby. Now, if you have any trouble, some people have trouble getting their plates through their mini. I've never had that problem, um, but I know some people who've had that problem. It's a really easy solution. Instead of using plate one, just use plate three on the bottom and that will solve your problem. We've got, you think I can do both of these on here? We've got uh, Just Jade, love Just Jade. That's one of our end colors. Hey, speaking of end colors, and this is Mint Macaron right here. You guys, we're getting ready to come up on a retirement of the catalog in April. And with the retirement of the catalog is a retirement of those end colors, right? So if you need the ink refills, if you haven't got the ink refills for the retiring in colors, I highly encourage you to do it now. Those sell out a lot of times, even before the retirement list comes out because uh, everybody knows, you know, it's easy to predict and you don't wanna have an ink pad and not be able to get the refill for it. And then of course you wanna get a pack of cardstock and you know, Stamp and blends, all the things that match. I am putting the tree on the left side of the circle. Just a little bit kind of shifted over. There we go. And then I didn't stamp this, so let's do that. There are two sentiments in the Friends of the Forest stamp set. Um, happiness is being with you and glad you're my friend. Both are really sweet. Soft suede. And let's get a little bit of post-it tape over here. And we'll bring this guy back over. And put that right there. And I'm gonna tape it down. Post-it tape. You can get it on Amazon. All right. There we go, like that. Now, one last thing we're gonna do is use that 
embossing folder, which, oh, it's over here. <laughs> I was going to say, which is not here. I don't know where it is. All right. So the directions for your embossing folders are on here. If you get confused about the sandwiches, just look at the plates. I always forget that. Um, this is the, we have embossing folders that fit in this mini machine, which is so cute. They're just, I don't know. I just keep saying it's cute because it's so cute. Um, whenever anything is little, it's cute. So plate three, embossing folder, one of the plate two. Do I have? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I do. Um, let's see. Is that right? Mm, why does it not feel right? Let's try it again. Let's see. What does it say? Three and one. Oh, oh, I was wrong. Nope, I was wrong. See, I have to read the directions every time. So when you get confused, don't feel bad because I get confused too. For the embossing folder, you need one <laughs> and three. I even looked at the directions before I did it. <sighs> I think tonight definitely calls for some margaritas. Okay, there we go. Very cute. Very, very cute. And now let's put our card together. All right. Card base is crumb cake. I am using some of this pattern party designer series paper. This 12 by 12 pack of paper is one of the free things you can pick um, when you spend over $150 and you start earning stamp and rewards. Um, this will, well, I don't know for certain, but I feel certain that it will retire when the catalog retires because I'm pretty sure in the history of <laughs> Stampin' Up, all, they call them host rewards. All of those host rewards retire. Now, I don't know because I can't, I don't have a crystal ball, but I would think that this would, this would be one of the things that retire too. Maybe I'll find out next week. I heard from a friend who works at Stampin' Up that she made some catalog samples with a stamp set designed by moi. And she said it was so cute. You know, they work on those catalogs like more than a year ahead of time. So I'm hoping that I will get to see it next week. It's so hard for me to keep a secret. I can't give any hints. I just can't wait for you guys to see it. When you, oh, no, we're going to do this first. When you, this is pale papaya ribbon, by the way. I did not do a bow because I feel like it's a little bulky. When you sell a million dollars of product, you get, one of the, the rewards that you get from Stampin' Up! is you get to design your own stamp set. And it's something I took very seriously. <laughs> um, talk about overthinking. I overthought it more than it needed to be even overthought. Um, you guys, I hope that you like it. It's very cute. All right, little circle is going to go over the greenery that we just did there. And I'm out of dimensionals on this page. I'm going to open a new package. I'm feeling fancy. And I'm going to open a new package. All right. Now, our little deer, my stomach is about to growl. <laughs> I hope you guys can't hear it. Dimensional. Now this guy, we're gonna put a dimensional on the right side and put some adhesive on the left side and adhere it. So dimensional here because this has a dimensional already on it. So now they're even, does that make sense? And one more thing, you guys, by the way, I'm going to use a lot of these little dots today, and I think, I'm pretty sure all of them are on back order. That's part of the supply chain issue, you guys know. Um, so just be patient. And, you know, I was thinking today, we have a lot of dots in both catalogs. And I just wonder if that's because Stampin' Up! was thinking, like, maybe we're going to have a supply chain issue. So if we have a lot of them, then if the one you want isn't there, there's something close that would you know, work because there, there is, there's a lot of like, you know, if you can't use this one, there's some other ones that are that color. You could use a different, you know, rhinestone. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. It's cute. It kind of makes me think of a baby card, the colors. So if you don't like that sentiment, you don't have a reason to use that. Change the sentiment, baby card, baby card would be cute, right? 
So cute. Okay, so there we go. Card number one is done. Let me um, clean up a little bit and we'll go to card number two. Card number two, we're gonna do some masking. We're gonna do some splatter, like I told you. We're gonna do um, mirror stamping. And this mirror stamping, believe it or not, took me many tries to get it right. I even took a picture for myself. Oh, my picture is gone too. To help me remember, oh no, it's on the tray, okay. To help me remember exactly how I did it. Sometimes you just gotta take a picture so that you can remember. All right, here it is. We're using the bunny, of course. Love the bunny. And I will tell you that here's my original. Here's the one I did yesterday for the clean recording. Um, I used the wrong colors yesterday. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference. I don't think you can. I'm looking at the video. I don't think you can tell. Um, Flirty Flamingo in Petal Pink was the original. And yesterday I used Calypso Coral. In person, they are a little bit different. But on the video, you can't really tell. Okay, we're gonna make the this beautiful background first. These these um, masks are called, hold on, I gotta get everything situated. These masks are called flowers, butterflies and flowers, I always say it backwards, butterflies and flowers layering masks. And they are really cool. I don't think I really fully understood Sorry, I'm getting my bread paper. I don't think I fully understood what they did at first. And then I played with them and I was like, oh my goodness, these are fantastic. All right, you're gonna need a piece of basic white and I've made my basic white just a little bit smaller than the card fronts, four by five and a fourth. I'm just gonna tape my paper down a little bit so it doesn't move around. I'm gonna put adhesive, a tiny bit of adhesive on the back to hold it down to my grid paper, okay? The other thing that you're gonna need, you're gonna need, let's see, first let me tell you the colors. Flirt, flirty Flamingo, Petal Pink, Pear Pizzazz. I may have used Soft Sea Foam too, because look, this one's darker than that one, but we're just gonna go with Pear Pizzazz. You're gonna need some blending brushes. And do you guys see what I did? I added a little piece of cardstock there so I could remember which color I used for each one. Just so that I didn't get them confused. Just staple it. <laughs> Guess who's home? Hi. How was your drive? Okay. I'll talk to you in a little while. Um, you're going to need a giant stack of post-it notes too. Okay. Um, now believe me when I say you need more than one post-it note. All right, we're gonna start with this flower. See how it's more open, it's bigger, and this one's more closed. We're gonna start with the bigger one first. And I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna use a little bit of post-it tape to hold this down. And then I'm gonna take my post-it notes and I'm gonna cover up every open space of paper. Now, as we turn it, we're gonna need more of these, okay? We're gonna start with the lightest color they're so happy to see her. <laughs> They're so happy. All right, petal pink. I'm going to start and I'm just going to, oh, look, see, I didn't cover that part up right there. I'm telling you, that's the hardest part of this card is making sure everything is covered up. Now, if you make a mistake and you don't cover something up, you can add a leaf or something over it so it doesn't, so it, it's not noticeable. All right, so now there's that. Now I'm going to take it and just kind of turn it. Um, let's do kind of up like this, All right? And now make sure that you're covering up any, any white spaces. You got to cover up this side of the mask too, because they're, you know, are the holes for the images and that will get ink where you don't want it. All right. So now we'll do some right here and we got to cover all of this. Hi, Terry. Okay, and now more petal pink. Now I have been 
every time I use this mask, I use these colors. I don't know why. I just really like this color combo. Um, but I encourage you to play around with some other colors as well. Um, because there are lots of different options. All right, make sure you cover everything up. I have to keep saying that to myself so that I remember. Okay, now we're gonna switch to the other side. So we're gonna cover up, we need to cover up all of this. See these two right here? You need to cover those. All right, now take your, the other side, and you're gonna kind of spin it around until you see that it fits. When it fits, you'll know immediately. Sometimes I have to, sometimes I'm like, maybe that's the one, that's not. You wanna line up those two middle circles right there, and then when you see it, when it lines up, it's, you know, like it's lined up. Visually, you know. Okay, cover everything up. And now we're gonna switch to, ah, we're gonna switch to Flirty Flamingo. And we're gonna add a Flirty Flamingo. All right, now watch this. Look how beautiful it is. Watch, hold on, hold on, get in there. Ta-da, isn't that beautiful? All right, so now we're just gonna work our way around, laying this down, matching all the, matching all the little lines up. They will line up, they will match. Um, you just kinda have to wiggle it sometimes to get it in the right place. Okay. Now down here, you have to, I try to, to do the center of each flower. That seems to be kind of my steering point. Cover up, cover up, cover up. And one more over here. Like that. And cover all of that and add that. Okay, let's look at it. Oh, isn't it beautiful? So pretty. Okay, now we're gonna add a few leaves here and because my flowers are all over the place, the leaves don't necessarily line up where they need to line up. So I'm just gonna just kind of do some random ones like this right here and again, cover everything. <laughs> Believe me. You think your hand isn't going to go that direction, but it does. I made this card. I made a card very similar to this for something in January and it took me multiple tries. Look, see, I almost did it. It took me multiple tries because I kept doing that, not covering things up. All right, let's do some right here like that. And a few more over here. And I feel like for balance, we need some down at the bottom. Let's look. Yeah, like right here. And then I think we're gonna call it good. Okay. Do you have a hard, horrible time, Peggy, getting it to match up? One one thing that I suggested, let me get that other one. So when you start out, one thing to remember, so do it like this, and each time, just turn it clockwise, right? So then when you go to do this, when you get the first one matched up, you'll know, okay, now this one, I'm gonna turn clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. That way you're not like, you know, if you turn your hand the same way each time, um, the second time it'll be, be a little bit easier. That's That was just my experience. Okay, so now we've got that done. Before we move this grid paper, 
I want to color a piece of my gingham ribbon to match the card. So I'm gonna take Flirty Flamingo and just color the white spaces like that, okay? And we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna tie a bow in a minute. All right, so now we have to cut a circle in this, and this piece of paper doesn't fit in the mini. The circle will fit in the mini, but the piece of paper will not. So we've got to bring this guy over. And we're going to take this circle die. And we're going to cut out a circle. Oh, look, I got a little smudge right there. So that's where we're going to cut the circle. Oh, I hate to cut off that big rose, but we're going to do it. We're going to cut off mm, like seven eighths of a circle. Okay. Let's run that through. Like that. There we go. Okay, now, man, I'm just setting stuff all over the place. I'm not gonna be able to find things when I'm done. To do mirror stamping, to get an image to stamp backwards, um, you stamp it onto a silicone mat and then you lay your piece of paper down on it and it picks it up and it's reversed of the image. Now I needed to figure out how to get the rabbit reversed within this circle. And let me tell you, it sounds like, oh, no problem. It took me several tries. So I took a picture so I would remember how I had it set up, see? <laughs> so take this piece and lay it down here lay your mat, your silicone mat on top of it, okay? Then get your rabbit, and the rabbit, the backwards rabbit, needs to be on the right side of the circle, okay? Now I've got another piece of white that we're gonna use that's the same size, because I, I'm gonna layer this right behind it, and I needed it to be in the exact right place. Um, if you use a smaller piece of white, then you can position it you know, wherever you wanted it, but I wanted the two pieces to be exactly the same. All right, so memento, and I'm gonna ink it a couple of times. Make sure we've got a lot of ink on that mat, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this white, I'm gonna line up the corners, and I'm gonna lay it down, and there she is, okay? So now, let's get that piece out, get our rabbit, put her on a regular block, and now, let me get her straight on there, we're going to stamp, well I have two mementos here, I don't know why, we'll stamp her right next to her little buddy, and they are a mirror image. Isn't that adorable? So cute. So a little complicated <laughs> step for your mirror stamping. All right, let's color their ears and their cheeks with petal pink. And put a little grass line with just jade under here like that so they're not floating in space. And I forgot to do the flicking, so let's bring this back. Flirty Flamingo, brush end, flick the ink all over just so that you have some drops. Now, this is gonna make your brush ends fray. Um, it is. So if you don't want that to happen, it doesn't happen right away, but the more you do it, the more the brush tip kind of breaks down. So if you don't want that to happen, don't do that. <laughs> you can flick regular ink if you want. All right, card base. And we're gonna get some, you know what? I think I will use these dimensionals. These are great when you are backing, you know, you have a whole piece. So we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this piece. I like to put some right there where the 
circle is so that it stays kind of popped up. Put one in that corner and put one right there. All right, now lay that down onto that one. All right, now if you are super smart, you could probably get that lined up on your card base. So you don't have, you could skip that extra piece of paper. But I just, I couldn't get it to work in the right way. So that's why I have two pieces and then I'm just gonna center them on the card base. All right, a little strip of Pattern Party Designer Series paper. Just a little half inch strip. And we're gonna put that right there and it's obviously way too long. So let's cut that right there. And then for our sentiment, for our sentiment right here, I'm gonna do some fussy cutting. I'm sorry, those of you who hate fussy cutting. If you don't like this, don't do this part. Oh man, I, you know what? I think I over inked this ink pad because it's quite juicy. All right, so now, now what are they barking at? They probably heard that block drop and they thought it was the door. All right, to do some really good fussy cutting, take your pencil and go around. Draw a bubble around the word like this. Okay, you can screw up with your pencil, erase, fix it, and then go back with your scissors. If you screw up with your scissors, you have to start all over. Let the pencil make the mistakes so that with your scissors, then they know exactly where to go. All right. I really wish our word, all of our words had dies. I know that's a pipe dream, but I always wanna cut out my words and it would be nice to have dies. We do have dies, word dies, but I mean, obviously we can't have them for every word. All right, this is, this is a little bit of work, this card, I'm not gonna lie, but sometimes it's fun, right? To go above and beyond. I hope that maybe the card, if the card is too busy, too much for you, maybe you'll use some of the things that we've done to create kind of a fun, you know, maybe just the masking, just the mirror stamping. All right, now, I'm gonna cut this out with my scissors. You can use your trimmer if you want it to be perfectly straight. I'm not too worried about it because it's very small. I really could have just done that on a strip of paper. Oh, did I lose it? Where did I throw it? Oh goodness, it's here somewhere. All right, we're just gonna move on and pretend that it's here. Um, oh, there it is, I see it. I think that's it. Man, that is really skinny. I cut it really skinny. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, so you're gonna need some extra skinny dimensionals. The mini dimensionals will work for this, the bigger word, but for the smaller, the little tiny strip right there, you're gonna need to cut them in half because it's even skinnier than our mini dimensionals. All right. There we go, put that on there. Oh my goodness, it's very small. <laughs> very small, okay, but very cute. Happiness is being with you. All right, last but not least, let's bring back that ribbon. Oh no, this is second to last. Here's that ribbon that we colored. And when it dries, it stiffens up the ribbon, which I like, because it, I don't know, I feel like it makes tying it really a lot easier. Oh, look, I need to color that a little bit more. I didn't go far enough. Okay. And color that. Take a mini glue dot. And right there, now wait, don't go, wait. These, these are the Elegant 
faceted gems. They look like old timey buttons to me, um, like buttons maybe on clothes made in the 50s. Of course, I may have a different, uh, who knows, my understanding of time doesn't always seem to be quite accurate. <laughs> but they're really cute. Let's see if you guys can see them. They're, um, well, they're faceted and they're elegant. <laughs> So it says the name. They're really cute. But like I was saying earlier, these are the same color as the other ones. You know, you could sub other gems for those. Isn't that a pretty card? You guys like it? I love that card. That's my favorite one today. I love those masks and I, we need to play with them a lot. I hope that they carry over or I hope they bring us some more layering masks in the next catalog. Um, there's one thing I forgot to do. Rainbow happiness. I put little hearts above our little rabbits. These tiny little hearts. Let's do that. Because that goes with the saying, happiness is being with you. There we go. Now it's super cute. All right. All right. Let's move on to our last project. And you guys are being very quiet. Maybe my comments aren't working. Oh yeah, you guys are talking, okay. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. All right, good. I didn't miss anything too terribly important. Last but not least, we've got a treat. Have you guys seen these? They are new for spring, for Easter. Um, it says, great for egg hunts. <sighs> what is his deal? Hey, Charlie. Gosh. Um. The pattern on the packaging was really pretty and is what inspired my project today. We're gonna use this one. They're milk chocolate, milk chocolate caramel, and milk chocolate sea salt caramel, yummo. Um, and they fit in Easter eggs, so I thought that was really cute. I believe I got them at Target. You know, they have them everywhere. They're just the Ghirardelli minis. And our project looks like this. And when you open it, when you open it, they have like a little pocket to sit in. Um, it's almost like a little wallet. I use the colors of the package to inspire the colors for the holder, in case you were wondering. All right, let's make our holder first. Now, man, my desk is like a bomb of gone off. Now, the measurements for this, is gonna be on your second page of your PDF today. So don't feel like you have to frantically write them down. Fingers crossed, I typed the right measurements. We'll see here in just a second. <laughs> Everybody, cross your fingers. Um, the first piece you need, this is Flirty Flamingo, four and a half by two and a fourth. You're gonna score it at half an inch and three fourths on both sides. Half an inch, three fourths. Then on the short side, do that again. Half an inch, three fourths. Okay, I did, they're right. And then this is three by eight and a half, same color, flirty flamingo. Um, and you're just gonna score it at four and four and a half. Okay, now grab your bone folder and burnish all those lines. I made, this little pocket is only a quarter of an inch thick, but I made the tabs a half inch because I find a quarter inch tab is really hard to work with. Um, so you're gonna cut out the three squares from each corner. Um, I always say it's like that Tetris shape, you know? So cut those off, the little L shape, and then cut this little tab up. So you just have a little tab right there. Okay, so snip off the three squares and cut that little flap up. All right, so that's what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna use my stamp and seal and I'm gonna put adhesive on those three half inch tabs. And then you just kind of fold it up Fold the sides up, tuck the little tab in, and fold that up into the sides. Now it's gonna to stick to your fingers, but that's okay. Okay, all right, now 
fold your little book. It's just a little book. And we're gonna get these straight when we lay them down on here, right in the middle. Put it down low enough so that your Ghirardelli don't stick out like that. And then take your bone folder, push those down in there, and then two will fit in. Um, one thing I would probably do is put a, well, I don't know. I mean, they're in there pretty good. If you're worried about them falling out like that, you could put a glue dot on the back of each one. All right, so now, oh my gosh. <laughs> everything's flying around. So now I've got a piece of basic white that's gonna go right here. Um, you could, you know what, hindsight, you know, 2020, I could have um, stamped the little bunny or whatever here, but I didn't do that. Um, actually, my original didn't even have that piece of white in it. So these, you know, these projects evolve as we go. All right, now where is my ribbon? Right here, hello. You wanna take the ribbon and tie it first because we're gonna put the, the DSP on top of it. So this is our Bumblebee um, gingham ribbon. And we're gonna tie that. Let's put something on here to hold that still. And Tie that closed like that. Okay, cut that to match the other one. Now I am using the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper and we're gonna sandwich that right on top. Did you guys know, if you're ever looking for a color, like I, I knew I wanted to use Flir Flirty Flamingo but I couldn't think of all the papers that had Flirty Flamingo in it, what ribbon, blah, blah, blah. I went to our Stampin' Up! website and just typed in Flirty Flamingo. And when you do that, everything that has Flirty Flamingo will come up. So you can see what papers have it. You know, oh, there's a marker, there's a ribbon, there's a dot. It kind of kind of helps you um, see everything that is available in that color. Let me grab my chamois. I almost just tripped over the basket that I set in the middle of the floor. We're gonna use the tree again, and we are gonna stamp it in Misty Moonlight on Misty Moonlight cardstock. Thank you, I'm glad you think you like it. Um, welcome, glad to see you're here. All right, nope, let's try that again. The middle of this tree just is giving me issue. Didn't happen on the counter. It has to happen when we're having Facebook Live. Um, the sentiment, I decided to pull from another set. I love this set, threw it together because they're small. Sometimes you just want something small. Um, so I'm using that tiny little thank you, but there's also some really, really uh, good sentiments in there. Um, Let's see, We're, let's, before I bring the cut and emboss machine over, well, I guess we could go ahead and do that. I'm using these, I call them the stitched flowers, but that's not their name. Their names are pierced blooms. Come on, Stampin' Up, they should be called stitched flowers. Um, they were super popular last spring when our spring catalog was out, um, and I almost forgot about them. Now that they're in the annual catalog, I love them. Was it last spring? Spring, was it spring before? I think it was last spring. All right, so we're gonna cut out two saffron, so saffron flowers. Thanks for the share, Judy. Thanks, Maria. All right, got those. And then we're gonna use the heart again from the Bouquet of Love Hybrid embossing folder and dies. I don't know, my name is weird. All right, I'm just gonna cut that out. And you know, I kinda wanted it, let's do more like that. Okay. There we go. Now for our deer, once again, we're gonna stamp him this time in crumb cake. When you stamp in crumb cake, 
and color with crumb cake Stampin' Blends, it's gonna give him a softer feel He's than, you know, compared to when you use Memento. He just looks a little bit softer. So same thing, light crumb cake all the way down. Why do some markers squeak and some markers do not? You know, sometimes, I feel like sometimes a marker is just squeakier than other markers. The things that I wonder about. All right. While I'm coloring this, I will tell you guys, we went to the movies last weekend and saw, oh, Dog. It's called Dog with Channing Tatum. If you need a movie to go see, this is the movie you need to go see. Um, the dog is a military dog who's got PTSD and Channing Tatum has to take him to his former handler's funeral. The, the movie is so good. I did like the ugly cry at the end. You know, something about animals in movies like set me off big time. And that one was like an ugly cry. Like I wanted to wear my sunglasses out of... <laughs> out of the movie theater because I sobbed so hard. You know, a human dying in a movie will make me cry, sure, but a dog, he doesn't die. He doesn't die. But a dog, like, getting injured or, where did my, where did my ink pad go? Am I just looking at it? A dog, oh yeah, here it is. You know, a dog getting injured in a movie or, I don't know if you guys remember when I was a kid, there was a movie called Benji the Hunted. Benji, you know, like, went across the country and I like sobbed through the whole movie because he was in danger. <laughs> this dog is has PTSD, so he's got problems. Um, it's a really sweet movie. If you want to see a good movie this weekend, that's the one to go see. All right, so line up your deer. Make sure you line up the legs. Um, it w had a great ending, Maria. It was sad because, you know... Those guys, you know, guys that come back from serving have issues. Um, maybe not all, not necessarily, you know, huge issues, but they all have, they all bring something back with them. Um, my husband was in Iraq and I can tell you, they all bring something back with them. Um, so just to kind of see, you know, that and um, the, to know that the dog carried, carried that too. It was just like, oh. But it's funny. There's a lot of funny parts in it. Um, sweet parts. And Channing Tatum. So, <laughs> Channing Tatum. It's turned into quite the actor. He um, actually has a, another movie coming out. I did this backwards. He has another movie coming out with Sandra Bullock. Have you guys seen the preview for that? It is a rom-com, which is exactly what we need these days. It's a rom-com. And it's got him and uh, Sandra Bullock and Brad Pitt. And it... Okay, it sounds like there's a car. Oh, okay, I see somebody across the street. Um, I, I lost my train of thought. It's... Oh, Sandra Bullock in the previews reminds me of Sandra Bullock in... Um, oh, what was that movie where she was the undercover cop? You know, like slapstick hilarious. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that one, too. That comes out at the end of the month. We are movie people. We love to go to the movies. I, you know, I don't want to watch a movie at home. I want to go to the movies. All right. So by, while I'm just chit-chatting, I'm also making a project. <laughs> Hopefully you were watching. Um, I put dimensionals on everything. Um, just hand cut the thank you. Um, last but not least, a few more gems. These are the, which ones are these? The iridescent rhinestones. I think all three of these are on back order right now. <laughs> we, and a lot of our little, little embellishments are on back order right now, but they're coming. They'll be here and just add a few right there. And there you have it. Now, this also would be, you know, you could put happy Easter. You could put I don't know, happy birthday, whatever you want, but it's very springy and it's really cute. You guys like it? Now I can eat the Caradellis. No, I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop eating all the candy. All right. 
Now, we're not quite done, don't leave yet. Um, let's look at what we made. We've got those and those and these. Um, these will be the three make and takes you can get for free um, with a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight. Please make sure to use the host code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get free Stampin' Rewards and I will still send you the make and takes. Now, I've got some bonus projects for you. I've been really trying to come up with bonus projects so you guys would have lots of ideas. By the way, this order that you, if you want to put in that order to get these, it doesn't have to be this stamp set. I don't even look at what you guys order. I just look at your name, total, host code, date. That's all that I care about. So just order, if you need to order ink refills, order whatever, if you already have this. If you don't have this, you're going to need it to make the projects. Um, okay, so that's that. Remember that they might be late because I'll be out of town. Um, then on Monday, I have another video for you. This one um, has the little fox and the rabbit, and it has a little Easter candy. I did use the Easter sentiment. So be on the lookout for that, and a couple more next week, okay? All right, now, if you want, we're done, so if you that's all you wanted to see, you're welcome to leave. But if you would like to see what's in my million dollar sales achiever box, I'm gonna show you real quick. My gosh, I'm going so late today. So like I mentioned, million dollar sales retreat next week, husbands are invited or, you know, whoever you wanna bring, I'm bringing my husband. Um, and this came and look, it's so like fancy. Look, it's got like fur on it. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, this, is our these are like our itinerary and it they always send you something ahead of time um for a trip that has like um your travel document something to carry all your stuff in so that's what this is i love this little keychain that says million dollar sales retreat and then when i opened it it's like it's for your passport for your documents cards currency all of that so it's like a little wallet purse and it's beautiful now this is like our itinerary. And I just really have sat down to look at it this week. We're going snowshoeing, some of us. You kind of, you filled out a survey and told them like what you wanted to do. Um, and Ted and I, obviously we wanna see the outdoors. We wanna go outdoors. So we're going snowshoeing. Um, we're gonna spend some time at the home office. A lot of time at the home office. We get to eat meals with uh, Sally, Sally, Shelly and Sarah. Um, and other Stampin' Up! staff. Um, we one day get to go to Concept Art. Um, I don't know, there's all these really cool things. So that is what was inside the box. I will be sharing lots of pictures, mostly on Facebook. Um, it's easier to do it there than on uh, my blog while I'm traveling. Um, but I will have new projects every day next week on my blog. I will have an ordering incentive for you guys, an ordering reward if you order while I'm gone. So be on the lookout for that. There will be a host code. Um, and I will see you in two weeks, okay? Um, the next Facebook Friday, I believe, is the sailboat. But don't hold me to that. I can't remember. Um, but it'll be good. I promise. And I'll have lots of things to show you. I promise. All right. You guys have a wonderful weekend and, uh, let me know if you have questions, make sure you hop back, get the PDF and make sure you get those orders in by Monday at midnight. Have a wonderful weekend guys. Thanks so much. Bye.